Oh. Welcome back to AZAM. So disinfectants and sanitizers are hot items. Ties at a Scottsdale company talking to the chief scientific officer. So this is, and now tell me what this is. Is this a new type of sanitizer tie? What, what do we have going on? Now, so this is a different type. This is kind of like the creme de la creme when it comes to this. And this is not for everyday use. These folks here have developed this for use for commercial use and, and, and it does help combat and kill uh, COVID-19. So I want to bring in Mark. You helped develop this. You're the guy behind all of this. So tell me exactly what this is and how it works. So this is a disinfectant that's highly effective against coronavirus and other pathogens. It's much more effective than virtually every other disinfectant that's currently out there uh, for a couple reasons. First of all, coronavirus doesn't really exist by itself, say when somebody coughs or sneezes. It's in the um, presence of nasal mucus, saliva, other bodily fluids. And our disinfectant called D7 actually cuts through those bodily fluids, gets to the virus and actually kills or inactivates that virus. Other disinfectants, even things like bleach, don't really do that. They, they're repelled by those bodily fluids and don't necessarily work that well. Um, the other big advantage of our disinfectant is that it has a very high kill rate against the virus. So many disinfectants like ethyl alcohol, some of the hand sanitizers, um, they only kill about 99.9% .9 of the virus. Our disinfectant is much more effective. And so it won't leave active viruses, uh, live viruses behind after we disinfect like some of the other disinfectants will. Now, Mark, who are your customers? Because this isn't for the regular Joe um, Schmo. So right now we're not a consumer product. We're a commercial product. So we're doing virtually every kind of facility that you can imagine. Police stations, fire stations, lots of factories, production facilities, lots of medical facilities. Um, we've done sports facilities. And, and like I said, just pretty much every type of uh, facility you can imagine. Also vehicles, first responder vehicles, things like that. So it works pretty much everywhere. It's very low corrosivity compared to things like bleach, which you know tends to rust metals and, and do other damage to materials. Our disinfectant D7 is very non-corrosive. Mark, how long did this take you to develop? Um, so it's actually developed about 20 years ago for a completely different purpose, actually for counterterrorism against uh, chemical and biological warfare agents. Um, it took about two years of development before we actually were able to use it. Um, but then after that, it's, it's been used virtually in the same way um, for about the last 18, 20 years. So let's say that a police station or police department, fire station, police fire department is watching. They want to get a hold of you. How can they do that? Um, they can get a hold of us through our website, uh, decon7.com. Uh, seven is the number seven. Um, and call or actually inquire on the website to, to make contact. All right, Mark, thank you so much. I was asking him earlier, because we all have rental cars right now to keep our social dis distancing with our photographer, and you know I'm a germ. Is folk, yours so nice? Like, what would you get? Did you get like a Jaguar or something? No. What? Oh, no, no, it's, an, it's okay. It's, it's, it's Corolla, it's great. But I was asking if I could go uh, borrow one of those and just, you know, make sure that that rental car is nice and clean. Maybe take one of these bad boys and just spray it around a little bit. What is that, like <laughs> 10 gallons? Sure. What's that behind you? That's like a 10-gallon yeah, like one. I could go through that in a day. You know me. <laughs> yeah. I know. Ty is the only person on staff who makes his own hand sanitizer, and this was before COVID. I mean, that's just you walking around, yes. right? Yeah. I was cleaning those news cars well before any of this ever happened. I'm your resident germaphobe. That's right? for sure. He was a germaphobe before being a germaphobe was cool, as we say, Celeste. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Ty. And then he'll show you his knuckles, Troy. His knuckles? And they're dry from all the sanitizer.